everyone. Hi, a huge welcome. Welcome to Ripples. We're going to have a thunderstorm while um, Ripples is on, so it'll be a ripple in puddles as well as ponds <laughs> and oceans. But speaking of oceans, um, you know, in, in the reading that I'm doing, um, and really I'm focused on how to be an anti-racist and uh, a lot of the reading is really sending a message to white people to say, well, you must take a stand. And what stand are you going to take? And it must be articulated and it must be articulated strongly. And what I was hoping we could do, um, I was trying to find a way to articulate stance in the context of the Chong. So, so the, the problem is related to, um, problems related to race are affecting the DNA so profoundly. If we are to take a stance that's that profound it needs to be a stance that's generated from the eight extra channels and preferably Chong itself, since Chong governs the playing out of destiny through generations. And so the fourth trajectory of Chong um, is the Chow vessel, the, the stance vessel. So I'm, I'm actually struggling to articulate the idea, um, to put the idea, I was just saying to Andrew, I'm not sure that I can actually explain what, what I'm trying to, to say here, but if the alteration is going to happen in mankind, the stance that we take has to resonate back into the Chong, and the fourth trajectory of Chong is for that purpose. So the first trajectory is to bring yang chi up to the spleen for survival. The second trajectory is to communicate heart and kidneys so that destiny can be played out with love and joy. The third trajectory is to generate enough yang chi to stay the course of destiny. The fourth trajectory is um, it governs the stance, it generates the stance. So how are you going to stand? in the context of your destiny and in the destiny of others. And the fifth trajectory brings um, yin up to the sensory orifices, fluids up to the sensory orifices so that we can see clearly a path forward. But given the reading I'm doing at the moment, I wanna focus on the fourth, if that's okay. How are we gonna stand? How are we going to be articulate in a way that is anti-racist and not passive and not apologist, but constructively. And so the points that I think might best be chosen for that are, uh, um, well, so as you know, the, the Chong creates the chows from the point that's directly anterior to the heel of the foot. So it's called kidney prime, or Jeffrey calls it kidney prime. So it's, let's say um, that's your heel, Kidney prime is right there, whereas kidney one in the textbooks is way up here. So kidney prime, way up against the, the toe. So I don't really want to needle into that. Let's, let's, just, let's just say that the Chong has already birthed the Chows, and then how are we going to balance how we sit in the world? They will, those two, um, that balancing action is generated between Yin Chow Mai and Yang Chow Mai. So we're really interested in Kidney six, the illuminating C, which is about how we own it within ourselves. And Yang Chao Mai comes from uh, bladder 62, the extending vessel. How do we extend ourselves out into the world and honor ourselves and the world? And how do we extend ourselves within ourselves, honoring ourselves and the world? So. The, the chows balance each other and, they, and, and when they're in balance, when we feel comfortable within ourselves and within the world, we, the, the stances balance. We don't wobble. We stand firmly. 
So for those of you who are not acupuncturists, um, both these points are one inch below the ankle bone. Kidney six, the illuminating C is one inch below the internal ankle bone that sticks out, right? And uh, bladder 62 is one inch inferior below the, the outer one. And um, I might leave the sound on today because I don't know if you can hear the thunder. Maybe that will be distracting, I'll turn it off. But leave it on, I'll leave it on. That means you've got to stand guard for <laughs> in case the phone rings or something. Anyway, powerful ripple I think today and thanks so much for being here to, to help. Um, we're all helping each other. It's, it's beautiful to see. Thank you, Pamela. All right, I'm leaving the sound on. You have to hang around, Andrew. Are you prepared to do that?